so good. Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys three things that really shocked me about Sweden or about Swedes. Three facts that are still present in Sweden. So let's get started. Поехали. So the first thing is pizza salad. You guys, I don't get it. Well, I I got used to it because I really like the salad. But when I moved the first time here, I mean, I, when when I came the first time here. We ordered a pizza and there was like a fungi pizza, nice pizza, you know, and uh, there was a small plastic can with a uh, salad. It was a cabbage, vinegar, pe black pepper, and uh, some, yeah, maybe um, oil, maybe not, and some uh, uh, salt. And uh, you just eat this salad with pizza or on top of pizza. And I was like, why would someone eat salad with pizza? La pizza è nata Italia, la pizza è nata Napoli, mi hai capito? I would say Italians would just definitely complain. Like, why would someone mix stuff with pizza? Pizza doesn't have anything else than just, you know, tomato sauce and some mushrooms, some basil, and that's it. Actually, in 1969, an entrepreneur, Giuseppe Peppino Sperandio, opened the restaurant in Stockholm and he actually brought this idea of cupus salata or cabbage salad from Croatia. It's actually a small snack that you just eat while your pizza is being baked. So yeah, why not? So I guess that's why Swiss still have this salad and they still use it and it's pretty yummy. So yeah, I mean, that was a really weird thing to me when I first saw it, but now no, that's not so bad, but I would just not mix anything with pizza. Pizza is just a sacred thing. Oh my goodness. Let's go and order this pizza with a uh, pizza salad. Hey, io skulle vilja beställa en fungi pizza. En fungi? Ja. Okej, det är bra. Välkomna. Ja, okej. Tack. Tack, tack. Hej då. Hej, guys. Let's pick up the pizza. I'm so excited. It's super cold outside, snowy everywhere, as you can see. Let's go. So, you guys, I pick up the pizza. It's so snowy everywhere, super cold, freezing my hands. And my hair is fluffy, but it's okay. Can't wait to show you guys this pizza salad. And mmm, Fuji pizza, so oh, good. So hungry. See you guys in a while in the video. The second fact that really impressed me about Swedes or Sweden is that they use snus in translation to English snuff, which means pulverized tobacco. Snuff appeared uh, the first time in France in the 16th century by Jean Nicot, who was a French diplomat and he worked for French King Henry II of France. Jean Nicot um, once uh, suggested to Catherine de Medici to try the snooze because she used to have a migraine and it was actually a trend to use snooze until 17th century when Sweden borrowed this idea of snooze because it, it, it was a trend in Europe so and actually Sweden got really inspired by French things French culture, language and interior design and so on so they also borrowed this thing of using snooze and yeah, Sweden produces snus, pretty much. And uh, to be honest, it's actually um, legal here in Sweden in Czech Republic and Denmark and it's actually not legal in other European Union countries. 
I think that's why I have never seen snooze in Spain. That's why it was so weird. So you guys, for you to understand what I'm talking about, I'm gonna try this snooze on camera. So it's like a small cute box, rounded, you know, here you have a space to place the used snooze and here you have the rest of fresh new snooze. So yeah, basically you open the bag. No, basically you open this cute box of snooze. Take one. It looks like a small bag of like a tea bag, you know. Yeah, I don't know if you see it. And um, it contains pulverized tobacco and uh, is actually, of course, nicotine. And sometimes it tastes, it has different flavors. It can taste blueberries, I think, or something else. And uh, you take this small bag that smells absolutely disgusting. <laughs> okay, let's try this. And you place this small bag under your upper lip where you have a space mm -hmm. like this and you just keep it for a while and i guess you feel some um, some effect oh my goodness it tastes awful oh oh squeeze my oh it's burning oh disgusting Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I don't want this. Oof, I don't want to try this anymore. I actually borrowed this cute box from my friend. Sorry, I spoiled two of these cute pillows. But you guys, if you're not into smoking or something, don't you dare, don't you dare to try this. And another thing, the last thing that really impressed me about sweets is that they sometimes leave notes, the neighbors leave notes under your door or in, on your post if they want to complain about something, something that you have left or something, I don't know, something that would be related to, to you, to your flat, to your staff, to whatever. But one of my friends got a note from her neighbor saying the following thing in Swedish. Hey! Är det dina saker på vinden som står utanför? Ta in dem eller så slänger jag dem om en vecka. Which means, is it your stuff out there in the, in the attic? Uh, if you don't throw it away, I will do it in a week. Like, girl, what? I don't understand why people do that. I don't understand. Maybe because they don't, they want to avoid uh, neighbors or like uh, contact with neighbor or something. Maybe they don't dare to to ask or something. But it would be definitely easier to just knock on the door and say, "Hey, this and that," and uh, yeah, be nice and say hi and and uh, complain in a nice way. But I think this kind of notes are really weird, really uncomfortable and really like almost rude, definitely. So you guys, that was it. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. So in this way you support me and I would definitely appreciate it. And it's actually for free. So why wouldn't you just subscribe, click that button and thumbs up. I hope not to offend anyone, especially Swedes. It's just my opinion. I sometimes find things really impressive to me since I'm coming from different culture and yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye, take care. <clears throat> oh, this snooze is awful. Blech. I feel some some kind of mm, weird taste. Oof, oof, you guys don't try it. No, no, no.